This is going to be the medical assessment. You're going to have 15 minutes to complete the station, mostly because you're going to have to physically take the vital signs so they allow a little bit more time for you. I'm going to have a patient here answering a lot of questions that they normally would, um, but I'm also going to be engaging with my evaluator who uh, can tell me more about how the scene is and what it looks like and what my patient appears um, as I walk into the scene. Another thing to mention on our assessment sheets for medical, it's a really good format for chest pain scenarios, but in the event that you get something else like a difficulty breathing, maybe a maternal patient, altered, um, you're going to have to really adapt to the questions, okay? The whole sample and OPQRST, you're going to need a little bit, um, some different questions there, okay? So this works for chest pain and that's what we're going to follow, just real standard, super easy. BSI, scene safety. Scene is safe. What's my nature of illness? Chest pain. And is this my only patient? Yes. I'm going to call for ALS and transport. Please let me know when my ambulance gets here. Uh, is there any need for C-spine at all? Sir, have you fallen at all? Any neck, head, back pain? No. no okay, no. so no C-spine. And then when I come in, what's my general impression? We have a male in his 40s in the tripod position. Okay. Uh, does it look like he's in distress at all? Grabbing his chest. He's in pain. Okay, uh, I'm going to get my level of consciousness, so following Avpu as I walk in, uh, he's awake and he's tracking me, correct? Correct. So he is awake, and then I'm going to ask him the four questions. Uh, sir, what's your name? Chad. Where are you at today? I'm in Buckeye. You're in Buckeye. Do you know what time it is? Uh, it's probably about 9 o'clock. About 9 o'clock, good. And then why did you call 911? Well, I'm having some chest pain and it hasn't gotten better. Okay. It's something I've never experienced. How long has it been going on for? About 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. So chief complaint is chest pain. Any other complaints? No, that's a big one. I'm breathing a little quicker than usual, but I assume that's pain. So okay. All right, so chest pain, and then I'm going to go to my ABCs. So he's talking to me. I know his airway is patent, but I'm going to need to get my rate, rhythm, quality, and my breathing. What do I see? Breathing 22 times a minute and slightly labored. Okay, so at this time, I direct one of my partners to grab a non breather, put it on him. Um, and then we would come back and reassess and eventually get a pulse ox on him and titrate appropriately. Uh, next, we're going to look at lung sounds. So I'm going to get four quadrants on the front and back of his chest. How are my lung sounds? They're clear. Clear, good. I'm going to go to circulation. So I'm going to check pulses for rate, rhythm, quality. What do I have? I have 120, 120 irregular and strong. Okay, and what's my skin color temp condition? He's warm, pink, dry. Okay, any major bleeding at all? No. Okay, so at this time, I don't think that he's in shock, but I'm always going to consider it. Um, at this time, I'm going to keep him in a position of comfort. Are you okay sitting up the way you are? Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, he's a high-priority patient, so let me know when my ambulance gets here, okay? Uh, in the meantime, we're going to begin with our sample assessment. So signs and symptoms, and then we're going to follow OPQRST. Onset. Sir, what were you doing when this pain started? Uh, I was watching TV. Watching TV, okay. Uh, does anything make it better or worse? No, it's pretty consistent. Consistent, okay. Um, how would you describe it? It's a sharp, stabbing pain, kind of right in the center. Okay, and does it move anywhere else or just stay in the center of your chest? It's been staying right in the center. Okay, on a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being the worst pain, what would you say? Uh, probably an 8. An 8, okay. Uh, and you said about 20 minutes has been going on? Yeah. Okay, so just to clarify, um, you were sitting at home, not really much activity, started having pain. Um, you said it was a 9 out of 10? 8. 8 out of 10, okay. And it's right in the center of your chest here. Um, do, you, do you have any allergies to medications? No. Okay, are you taking any medications? Um, my doctor gave me a couple things. What do you got there? Well, he gave me some aspirin, which I do take, and this bomb glycerin thing that I don't. Okay, so did you take any aspirin today? I took one. You took one of these. Okay, what time? Oh, uh, this morning. I do this morning. Okay, and then you have not taken any of this nitro yet? No. Okay, just making sure it's not expired and it was prescribed to him. Um, at this point, do you have any other history? No. Medical I history? No. Okay, uh, just obviously some cardiac stuff, right? Uh, what was the last thing you ate and when? Oh, I think I had probably some uh, Philly cheesesteak tonight. Philly cheesesteaks, okay. And you don't normally have chest pains or um, like heartburn or anything after no, that meal, no. okay. Uh, and then again, events leading up to, you were just hanging out at home and suddenly had some chest pains. Yes. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and follow uh, or assess for any other issues, uh, getting a secondary assessment. So for cardiac, I'm gonna reassess my pulses, check rate rhythm quality, nothing's changed, correct? Correct. Okay, again, my skin has not changed in color temp condition. Maybe I'll check some cap refill here. And do I see any kind of pedal edema? None present. Okay, going into pulmonary, what I would do is listen to my lung sounds again. Uh, do I have any kind of sounds, any crackles? They're clear. They're clear, okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check neurological, uh, confirming that he's still awake, alert, he's talking to me, he's following commands. Uh, GIGU, are you nauseous, vomiting? A little more than usual, I'm not normally, but I'm kind of... A little nauseous, or you've been vomiting? A little nauseous, I have not Nauseous, vomited. okay. Uh, bowel movement's okay, urinating okay. Yeah. All right, I would inspect and palpate his abdomen for quadrants just to make sure he's not distended or rigid as well. Um, checking psych and social. Uh, are you a drinker or smoker? Yes, yes. Okay, and then do you have any kind of unusual stress lately? Uh, I'm married. Okay, <laughs> and then um, reproductive. Do you take any ED drugs by chance? No, it's all me. Okay, excellent. Um, at this point, I'm going to have my vitals, so I'm going to grab my BP cup. You got 142 over 90. Uh, what's my scenario say? You have 160 over 90. 160 over 90, okay. I'm going to check my radials. You got 80 on that. Go ahead and just keep looking over there. I'm going to look at his respiratory rate. Uh, about 18 to 20 on respirations. They don't appear to be non, or they appear to be non labor. I'm going to check pupils. If you can look at my nose right here. Pupils are pearl. Cap refill is less than two. Uh, I would try to obtain a blood sugar. What would I get? 110. 110, okay, that's normal, good. So I have all my information. At this point, I'm gonna state my field impression. I believe that he's having chest pain for a cardiac related illness. So I'm gonna go ahead and call my doctor, medical direction, and I'm gonna ask for permission to give him three more aspirin and give up to three nitro as long as my blood pressure permits every five minutes. Um, is the doctor okay with that? He's okay with this. Follow your protocol. Okay, so I would go ahead and do that while I'm on route. Again, reassess constantly, uh, in this case about every five minutes. And then when I get to the hospital, I would give a full report to the nurse. Done.